the thing to acknowledge about David Bergelson is that he began to write, um, to become a writer, immediately after the failed revolution of 1905. And the mood in Russia then uh, was a mood of everything is lost. Tremendous energy had gone into that 1905 revolution. Um, there were strikes that preceded it that involved millions of people in Russia. So that when 1905 came and when the revolution kind of consolidated and for a minute it, it, it seemed as if the Tsar was actually going to grant that constitution and that there was going to be a democratic process, hopes were very, very high. When that was shattered, um, people were left with nothing. They could not mobilize those forces all over again, and the Tsar reimposed the same conditions that had existed before. When the Tsar uh, withdrew his uh, promise of a constitution and imposed uh, authoritarian rule on the country once again, uh, people were um, not just disappointed and not just disillusioned, but they didn't they couldn't start up again because too much energy had gone into that revolution so that was a time of max mass exodus of young people and of young intellectuals from uh russia in fact uh, american yiddish literature can be said to have started in in truth in about 1905 with the sudden uh, arrival in this country of dozens and dozens of talented young intellectuals who felt that they could not stay in Russia any longer. Now that same sense of disillusionment expressed itself in Bergelson's writing um, in a completely different way. He did not leave Russia at that point, although he left at a later point, uh, but he incorporated that sense of decline. He incorporated that sense of there's nowhere to go, that sense of um, an impression of life as being not quite worth it, not quite worth the effort, of uh, a sense of a Jewish life that had once been perhaps richer, but that was, once, was now in every sense in decline. Um, the old aristocracy of uh, Jewish wealth, Jewish learning, the Jewish rabbinate, it was all in decline. The young people who didn't want to be Jews in the old manner didn't know how to reconstruct themselves in any new way. You do not find in Bergelson's writing any of those energies that were uh, there, that were manifestly there in Jewish life. For example, through emigration, for example, in Zionism, for example, in socialism, and in the reconstruction of the revolutionary movement, which ultimately was successful. So there was all kinds of dynamism in uh, Jewish life. But Bergelson harnessed something else. He harnessed that sense of pessimism, a philosophic pessimism. And the greatness of his writing is that it isn't just a social pessimism, an economic pessimism, a political pessimism. I think in the best of his writings, what one really feels, if you allow yourself to be swept up by the writing, is really a deeply philosophical pessimism. In other words, um, is it better to have been born or not to have been born? Well, his writing would vote with, it is better not to have been born, perhaps. If one has to be born, then this is the way it looks.